hope y'all understand what this young brother is bringing out. Y'all pray to God and ask God to send help. You ask God for solutions. Why can't the black man marry the black woman? Why, can, why are these kids killing up one another? Right. Why are there diseases in our community? Y'all ask God these things when it happened. Bring it out. But the solution is coming out now. We encourage you to come ask questions. We encourage you to come listen. We encourage you to bring your children over here to listen. Because if we was over here rapping and we was calling all women all kind of uh, bitches and hoes, y'all would come over here and be dancing and turning up and everything. Right but now, God has provided a solution to what goes on over here in these projects. Now we want to see who's really, really about that change. Right. Or you're going to be like the other black people, just cry, complain to God. But when God tells you, you don't listen. Yeah. Give me Psalms 19, uh, 119 right yes, quick. Because God got a question for each and every last one of us. He had this question for me. When I found out who I was according to this Bible, I had to change. Because I used to be one of the gang bangers. I used to be one of the drug dealers. I used to be one of the pimps. I used to be calling myself Mackin and all I was carrying on. But guess what? When I came into this true descri uh, uh, description of who I was in the Bible, what Christ looked like, that I was a son of God, that I was a king on earth, it changed my life. It changed my life to know that I was a king. Because the Christian church told me I was a damn Baptist. Right. Told me I was a church of Christ. Right. Told me I was a nigga. Right. Matter of fact, growing up in the Christian church, I thought I was a real nigga. Right. Come to find out I was. Until I came back to who I was in the Bible. What the Bible say? The book of Psalms, chapter 94, verse 16. Yeah. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Did y'all hear that? So who's going to rise up? Which one of y'all black men going to rise up against the gangbangers? Which one of y'all black men going to drop your flag and say, I'm going with God? Yeah. I'm not going no more with Larry Hoover. Yeah. Right. I'm not going no more with Tookie Williams. Right. I'm not going no more with Willie Lord or Jeff Floyd. Right. Right. Which one of y'all going to rise up and say, I'm... I'm done gangbanging. Right. If Bring I sleep with a black woman and put my digger lean in and I get her pregnant, I'm going to take care of her and the kids. Bring Bring Which Bring one of y'all going to rise up and say that or y'all going to wait till the next generation grow up there and complain? Who going to rise up? Read what the Bible says again. Who will rise up for me? God said who going to rise up? See, America has feminized a lot of you black men. Right. A lot of us been raised by our mothers. We had no real father figured out. Right. But God said what? Who will rise up for me? Who going to rise up for God? To hell with rising up for that six-point star, right. for the five-point star, right. or for this hood and that hood, right. some neighborhood way in California somewhere. To hell with that. Right. We've been doing that for way too long. Right. Who's going to rise up for God, bro? This is our community. This is what we got to take care of. Right. And we tired of seeing young black men kill one another. Right. We tired of seeing these young black women fighting and pulling out each other weave all over the project. Right. We tired of seeing you not taking care of your babies. Right. We tired of the police gunning us down. Right. We tired of gunning each other down. Seeing it, we look on the news, we see black men killing more black men than the police. Right. But the only time y'all want to give a care about is when the police shoot you down. Right. When the white man shoot you down, oh no, now we got to march for justice and peace. But y'all killing one another each and every day over a color. Right. You're killing each other every day over uh, 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 which way your head turned to the left or to the right. Right. Yeah. It's time for us to stand up, man. Come on. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? So y'all feel free to come up. Because you're looking at the men of God and we come out here to rise up. And we're not afraid. Because we got the angels and we got God with us. Yes, and we come out here to rise up against the things that we see and hear that go on over here. And it's time for you young black men to be men. Walking around with a pistol in your pocket or in your drawers. You ain't looking to kill the white man. You looking to kill your own brothers. Yes, right. Or a child out here. It's time for y'all to rise up, man. We the kings on earth. Yes, right. We've been conditioned to live like niggas. A nigga was made in America. Did y'all know that? Right, right. A real nigga was made right here in America. Stamp sealed and approved by the U.S. government. Right, right, right. But guess what? It's a new day. It's a new day and you got men that are rising up all over the world. Right, right. Destruction is coming here. Destruction is coming. When I say destruction, I ain't talking about no damn another game. I'm talking about thermonuclear fire. Yes, right. I'm talking about World War III is coming. Right. Y'all think COVID-19 something?
God going to keep releasing these plagues into the earth until the sons and the daughters of God repent and we realize that we the sons of God, bro. We've been beat down for way too long. But God woke me up to come wake you up, young man. That's right. Because you are the leader in this community. Right. The women don't run the community. The men run the community. That's right. But the white man turned it around and gave the women power to run the community. And now look what you see. You see the women out front and the men in the back scared. Right. Scared to come ask a question when you see a lion. Right. Thought you was a lion out here. Oh, I guess that's when the nighttime come. And you can put your hoodie on. Right. And you walk through here and you sit up here lurking. Whom you may devour and it's all your own people. Right. That's when you become a lion. We in broad daylight and we, we commanding and we asking you young black men to wake up over here. We, 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 we praying that you wake up and get to your community in order. Right. Y'all think the white man gonna come get y'all in order? Mm. Bring it out. Think he gonna send some more food snaps? Mm. Bring or y'all gonna wait till him come through here on Saturday in them yellow shirts and get y'all more hot dogs? Right. No, it's gonna take you to get off your ass and start to fix your own community. Right. Right. What you thought, what you thought? Barack Obama was gonna fix this situation? Right. You thought Donald Trump was gonna fix your situation? No. No. Joe Biden damn sure ain't gonna do it. Right. Right. About the, mo the Muslims not doing nothing. Right. The Muslims are worshiping another God. Right. All right? The Muslims are not doing nothing. All right? Come on. What about the Israelites? Right. Because we are God's chosen people. The Bible don't say nothing about Muslims being God's chosen people. Right. Muslim is another religion. Huh? We the Moors. The Israelites were the Moors. You're exactly right. The Moors. Huh? The Moors first. The Moors means black. We was the black people who you rule, Europe, Spain, Africa, and all that. Read what you got. Psalms 94, 16. Right. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? See, we don't blame. Back in the day when the knowledge went out here, our people went out to Muslims. They went out to Islam because they knew the Christianity was lying. Give me that picture right here. Give me this picture. Our people think this Jesus. You can call every damn child out here right now and they're going to think the white man is God and white man is Jesus. Right. And y'all don't understand that's the damn problem. Right. All right? So the white man ain't God and he ain't Jesus. Right. And God is not a rock. Right. He is not a cover and he is not a stone. Right. God made the heavens and the earth. Right. All right? He got the sun in the sky. God got me sweating right now. Right. God got the trees green. Right. All right? So we got to realize that We've been taught lies, mama. And the lies started with religion. Right. Christianity is a religion. Islam is a religion. Right. Buddhism is a religion. Right. religion. Hinduism is a religion. They went from religion to politics. Now, that 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 don't sit up there and um, divide it up. Now half black people think you're democratic and you half of you think you're Republicans. Bring it out, Cap. Two, out. two wings on the same damn bird. Right. And guess what? That bird is out to destroy you. Right. And that bird is a damn eagle. Did you know that? That's right. The same bird on the back of your dollar. That's the bird that's out to destroy you. Right. We're going to get it for you in about. Hey, give me, uh, come on. Uh, give me that. Read, read that again. I need to go back to where I was at. Let nobody detour me. Because if anybody right. had something right. to teach, they should have been here before we got here. That's I'll be right. Or be here when we leave. Right. It ain't no wrong with spilling your knowledge. But come and speak like men. Don't yell across the street. Come speak like men so we can what? Uh, so we can uh, we can reason together as the Bible said. That's right. That's what we come out here to do, to reason together. All right, come on. Who will rise up for me against the evil doers? All right, so with all that, who gonna rise up with God against the evil doers, man? Bring it up. Who gonna stand up against the GDs over here? Right. Who gonna stand up against the vice lords over here? Right. Who gonna stand up against the Crips? Right. Who gonna stand up, man? We gotta change the mindset of these young black men. Right. And with the power of God, it can be changed. Right. That's right. We at the bottom of society, and we comfortable. We the kings on earth, but they give us slop. Right. We the kings on earth, they give you chitlins. Right. We the kings on earth, they give you pigs now. Right. They yeah. give you hog nuts. Right. They give you the worst of the worst. We the kings on earth, and they give you the projects. Don't you know how much land it is out here? And they're going to stack us on top of each other again like we on a slave ship. Right. And now we're going to live amongst each other. We're going to live amongst each other and kill up one another in the meanwhile. Right. Come on, y'all. It's time for us to change. Don't get comfortable in this condition. Right. This is not your home. Right. This is not your condition you're supposed right. to be right. in. Right. 
but you got here because you disobeyed God. You forgot you lost your heritage. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. You lost your heritage, and now we're here to give your heritage back. That's right. Black man, you are a king on earth. That's right. You are king on earth. All right, listen to this. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. Yeah. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy inheritance. The Bible said for our disobedience, sis, mom, auntie, that we was going to discontinue from our heritage, meaning that we was going to forget who we were. All right? You got to ask yourself, how are we the best at everything? Yeah. Black man, you the best thinker. You the fastest runner. Right. You was inventing things in slavery. Right. You invented things out of slavery. And then we still get shoved at the bottom. How you doing, young brother? How you doing? Are right you walking? Come here for a minute. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. How old are you? You're 15 years old. You know what Jesus look like? What do he look like? He look black? Okay, portion. Which one of them you think Jesus? Look at all these pictures. I want y'all. I want y'all to see something. That's him. You pointing at him, but you look. Why are you looking at him though? Because that's what you were taught, right? You were taught that that was Jesus, right? Now I'm gonna go in the Bible. Let me show you what Jesus looked like. What's your name, man? Huh? JD. I'm Ben Zion. All right. Good to meet you, bro. Let me show you what Jesus looked like, and I'm gonna show you a few more things, right? I'm glad you took our time to stop, bro. God got His hands on you. You understand that? You know somebody gonna get shot and get killed over here probably tonight or for the week out. Right. You see what I'm saying? They hearing the gospel, but get they gonna reject the gospel. They they cast the word behind them. So God gonna judge them. All right? But maybe not you. It may not be you. But it could be your last time. You never know. All right? Listen. Revelation chapter one verse one. Read it up. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So this is the revealing what Jesus looked like. You are gonna find this in Revelations. All right. So if somebody asks you what Jesus looked like, you want to go to the book of Revelation. That's the last book in the Bible, okay? Listen. Verse 14. This is verse 14. It's going to give you a description. Come on. Hold that picture up right there. Hold the fake up. Hold the damn devil up. Don't right. you know that's the devil? Bring it out. And But you can ask all our kids over there, who was that? They're going to say Jesus. Bring it out. We've been tricked, brother, to believe that God is the devil and the devil is God. Right. You believe that? Just ask some of these kids. I'm glad that you don't understand that he was black. Because you heard it or seen it somewhere else. But if you Google Jesus right now, guess who's going to come up? Yeah. He's going to have pictures right there. Right. Any one of y'all challenged right now, Google Jesus. A damn white boy going to pop up. Right. The same man that enslaved you and put you in these projects and told you you ain't nothing. Right. right. Bring it up. Come on. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So Jesus had white woolly hair. What animal got woolly hair, bro? A sheep. What humans got hair like a sheep? Us. Black folks, right? Right. Plain and simple. How keep that picture held up. Dude, this dude got white woolly hair at all. He don't. He got long streak of hair. Right. So they got something wrong. And why would they tell us a damn lie? Right. And this is in everybody's Bible. Every church. Church on their corner. Church on their corner. Church on their corner. But ain't nobody talking about how they done stole the description of our God. Right. Or our Savior. Because they want you to think they the savior and they think you know, a lot of these people are looking for white people to come save them. Right. Ain't white people ain't gonna save you. They don't want you to be equal to them. Right. Bring it up. Come on. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Say Jesus had eyes and they was as a flame of fire. You know why Jesus' eyes was a flame of fire? Give me Genesis 49 and 12. Let me show you in the Bible. See, we got biblical answers. We got right. biblical solutions. That's if you right. got biblical questions, why are these things happening to black people? Why does the black man love to shoot up and kill one another? Yeah. Why would he sit down and lay down with a woman and bust it wide open, get her pregnant and run off to the other projects in case he's home somewhere? Right. And guess what? Do the same thing and take care of no, no, neither one of the damn babies. Bring it out. Why? Because we have been conditioned to think that we are nothing. Right. Listen. Genesis chapter 49 verse 12. Bring it out. His eyes shall be red with wine. So his eyes was red because he drunk wine. Now go back to Revelation. So, so it said his eyes was a flame of fire. He drunk wine. It was red. Look at some of the old men eyes around here. They get to drinking, their eyes gonna turn red. When black people drink, their eyes turn red on the side. Right. Listen to this. Verse 15. And his feet. Now he looked down at his feet. Jesus had sandals on, right? Say he looked down at his feet, come on. And his feet like unto fine brass. What color is brass? 
brown, brown, right? Mm. So his feet was brown, just like yours. And they say it was pale white like the damn bathtub. Right. Yeah. What the hell? Teach. Who told us this? Right. Who told us this lie? That's why the Bible said who gonna rise up. And this ain't no hate speech. This is the truth. That's the right. Bible said he had her wool, skin look like brass. Come on. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. Now, if you burn it, what color does it come out? Black. So the Bible is literally telling you that Jesus Christ is what, bro? He black. Yeah. See why we not learning this. You know what black people say? Somebody sitting there running that. Well, it don't matter to me. Bring it out. But you see the white one here, you didn't say that. Right. 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 Yeah. When you're going to all these churches, you didn't say, take Jesus down. It don't matter what color he is. He's a rainbow. Right. right. But when we say he black, some black people have a problem with it. Did you know that? That's right. Some black people, because they scared. They still think we in damn slavery somewhere. Right. They still think that we, uh, the white man gonna ride through on his horse with the damn, what they call the, uh, uh, the damn Ku Klux Klan yeah, and, a and a whip and gonna, and gonna, gonna tag their ass if they say Jesus is black. Bring it out. See, we've been discontinued. Now go back to Jeremiah, bro. Yes, Let me show you something, bro. Jesus Christ come from the same lineage we come from, all right? Come on. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse four. Listen to this. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy inheritance. We discontinue from our heritage. Ask me why. What happened? What happened? Why did we discontinue from our... Why did we go from being a royal priesthood to being gangbangers? Being baby daddies instead of husbands? There's too many damn baby daddies over here. And a lot of y'all black women ain't gonna never get married. I'm gonna be straight. A lot of y'all men don't want you. He just want you for one night. That's all you good for is one damn night and that's for 30 damn minutes. Why? Because you got a nasty attitude. Why? Because your mouth too big. Right. All right? And that's the way it is. A lot of the black women going to die lonely with a damn dog. Bring it out. All right? But it's time for you black men to rise up. We've been discontinued. Come on. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. You pretty smart. You hear what he said? And we was going to discontinue from our heritage. Showing that we the people in the Bible. And he was gonna, we was going to discontinue from our heritage. And what else? Which thou know? And cause thee to serve thine enemies. He said he was going to cause us to serve our enemies. What's your name again? I'm sorry, bro. J.D.? J.D. J.D. Said that we was going to discontinue from our heritage and cause us to serve our enemies in a land that we know not. Do that sound familiar to you? What 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 you think this? What you think that man? Slavery. Smart. I told you the reason, bro. Everybody can't get that. God had you stop. That's, that's, that's right. slavery, bro. Bring it up. Slavery's in the Bible, and slavery was Bible prophecy. Right. You right. ain't gonna read this out of no other book. That we went into slavery. We dis discontinued from our heritage. We went from being gods to niggas. Right. For real. Listen to this. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. I right, which what shall do what? which shall burn forever. So you look around, you see the fire, you see the anger of God when he got his sons and daughters of God shooting and killing up one another, selling drugs to one another, not taking care of his own. That's fire from God. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision the tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.